What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marina. Got my Orca Torch D620 here and I've really been using this lot quite a bit here recently. Um, I really like this lot, it's very light. Um, I can't hardly tell that I'm wearing it when I do have it on. Uh, the lumens is absolutely unbelievable and the high setting's got 2700 lumens. So I really like this lot a lot. And I've used it on several different systems. I've put it on my back plate and wing system. I've put it on my standard back inflate. And I've also used it in a jacket style. And I've got some questions from customers who see me use it of how I attach it. So I thought I'd make a quick video on that. And I'm going to show you exactly how I attach the canister part of the light to each of my systems, depending on what I'm wearing for whatever job I'm doing. Now, with the D620, the canister itself has a little belt slot here that you can slide a webbing belt through that of course being one of the main ways to do it but i'm going to show you a couple other methods to attach it whether you got a back plate wing a back inflate or even just a standard jacket style so to start off with i'm going to use my back plate and wing um, of course mine is a mares xr single donut bladder system We've got steel back plate on it standard just hogatherian uh, harness system here on the right side waist belt area I have just a standard D-ring and tri-glide now some people don't put a D-ring on the right side they put um, just an extra belt uh, to hold their canister light on so we have our standard um, belt here or belt buckle here that we'd slide our webbing strap through some people will actually put an extra one where I have my right uh, D-ring now the reason I have two D-rings of course I do quite a bit of side mounts uh, diving as well to where I take this bladder off and I have a different bladder for side mount but that's why I have that D-ring so I can clip off a side mount cylinder but regardless of what you have whether you got a D-ring and a tri-glide or you have just another belt threaded on all you got to do is simply remove that off the belt itself and you're going to take the webbing strap and you're going to slide it through the belt loop of the canister light slide it into position and then to hold it and to keep it from doing this all you got to do is simply put your tri-glide and D-ring back on or put your belt back on and then slide it back to where you want to position the canister and it'll stay in place. So that's probably the most common and easiest way to attach the canister light. And when I'm wearing this system and I'm using that this light, that's how I actually attach it. So that's pretty common and pretty simple to understand and easy to do. But let's take it one step further and let's look at just a standard back inflate BCD and I'll show you how I attach the canister to that particular BCD. So the next thing we're going to look at is the Mares Pure back inflate system. And this is just your standard back inflate, nothing fancy about it. Even though it's a really good system, uh, there's not many places to put it. This system itself has the same type of webbing strap as the back plate and wing system does. But with these weight pouches on it, you're going to have to remove a lot of stuff to put that canister back here in the back, the same position that you would have it on your back plate and wing. And that's that's really too much to have to take off, put the canister on, because you may not always need your light and you may want to take it off and on, you know, take it off, put it on at any given time. So it's really not that easy to do. So what I do in this particular situation is I'm gonna come up here to my uh, shoulder strap to where it's adjustable. And all I'm gonna do is loosen this shoulder strap all the way up and I'm actually going to unthread the actual webbing strap from the buckle itself. So I'm just going to push it up through and then pull it out. And now I have freed up the shoulder strap webbing itself. And all I've got to do is simply thread on just as we did before onto the canister light, like so. And now I can re-thread the buckle very easily. And the good thing part about this it doesn't really affect the operation by putting it on there so now I can still tighten and loosen the shoulder strap as need be the canister itself is mounted on there and of course I've, I've got to put it on upside down but you can put it the other way as well and then of course it's attached to me if I need to remove it real quick I just simply unthread the strap itself and it'll come right back off so this is a good simple easy way to attach the canister if you're not diving a back plate wing. Um, in most BCDs that are adjustable, you should be able to pull the webbing strap out just as I did here with the buckle. Not all will be that way, but with the Mario's lines, they're pretty much all gonna be uh, user friendly. So once again, I can simply thread it onto the bottom of the shoulder strap, which 
is not that much difference from this position to that position when you're wearing the BCD. So it's really, it just moves the canister light, say, two or three inches from where it would be on a backplate and wing system. So it's really not that much difference as far as positioning. So that's with a standard back and plate system. The last one we're going to look at, of course, is just your typical jacket style. Once again, I've got a Marius here. This is the Marius. Prestige. This is actually a couple years old. They've they've upgraded this version here. But with this particular one, anytime I've used this light, all I've done is simply unzip the pocket, take the canister, slide it down in the pocket itself, and then zip it back up, and the light's good and secure. Now, if you don't have a lot of space in your pockets for whatever reason, you should still have just enough room for the canister itself. Still gives you plenty of length on the cord to stretch out it's very easy to detach all you got to do is simply open up the pocket pull out your canister light and then you can change batteries charge it do whatever you need to do but you know it's real simple with this you don't have to change your system just because you get a new light um, if you're wanting to switch over to a canister style light you don't necessarily have to go out and buy a brand new bcd something like this is going to work just as easy as a standard back inflate or even a backplate and wing system so guys, as you can see, using the Orca Torch D620, it's very easy to attach and detach this from your, your current scuba system. You don't have to go out and buy a brand new rig just, just so that you can get you a new light that you want or a more powerful light. But guys, if you got any questions on any of the BCs or even the Orca Torch D620, we've been doing a lot of product testing with this. Uh, we've got some more f videos coming out here in the very near future. Uh, we're going to be doing a comparison video with the D620 just to show you the difference. Um, but if you got any questions on this, simply put it down in the comment section below. We'll try to get back to you as quickly as possible. Once again, I do want to give another shout out to Erica over at Orca Torch. She sent me this light about a month ago to do some product testing on, and I, I've absolutely fell in love with this light. It's probably one of my newest favorite pieces of equipment that I currently own, but um, definitely check it out. It's got three different modes. I really, really enjoy this light. But guys, if you got any questions, put it down in the comment section below. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube, and as always, guys, we appreciate your business.